What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents of light? This is your boy in light, Lucifer and Prince, coming at you once again. And the war machine has been established. Now, before we proceed, I would like to read a foreword to a document, otherwise known as one of the most secretive documents on the face of the internet. And this documentation is not available to the large public, it's only available to a small minority. I'm going to read a foreword to this, and I'm going to let you know that these are the blueprints to what's going on today. Foreword. This manuscript was delivered to our offices by an unknown person. We did not steal the document, nor were we involved with any theft from the United States government. And we did not get the document by way of any dishonest methods. We feel that we are not endangering the national security by reproducing this document. Quite the contrary. It has been authenticated, and we feel that we are not only within our rights to publish it, but morally bound to do so. Regarding the training manual, you may have detected that we had have to block out marginal notes made by the selectee at the CIA training center, but I can assure you that the marginal in the manual is authentic and was printed for the purpose of introducing to the selectee to the conspiracy. It has been authenticated by four different technical writers for military intelligence, one just recently retired who wants very much to have this manual distributed throughout the world. And one who is still employed at the electronics engineer by the federal government and has access to the entire series of training manuals. One was stationed in Hawaii and held in the highest security clearance in the naval intelligence and another who is now teaching at a university and has been working with the Central Intelligence Agency for a number of years and once out before the axe falls on the conspirators. We believe that the entire world should know about this plan, so we distributed internationally 100 copies of these manuscripts to ask individuals at the top level positions their opinions, the consensus opinion, but to distribute this so that as many people who wanted it to the end, that they will only, not only understand the war that has been declared against them, but be able to properly identify the true enemy of humanity. Dilemma du Verus. Preface. Table of Contents, Security, and the Historical Introduction. I will pause there. Top Secret, Solid Weapons for Quiet Wars, Operation Research Technical Manual, TW-SW7905.1. Welcome aboard. This publication marks the 25th anniversary of the Third World War called Quiet War, being conducted using subjective biological warfare. Fought with silent weapons. This book contains an introductory description of this war, strategies and weaponry, made 1979-74-1120. Security. It is patently impossible to discuss social engineering or the automation of society, i.e. the engineering of social automation systems, which are silent weapons, on a national or worldwide scale, without implying extensive objectives or social control and destruction of human life. It's a slavery and genocide. This manual in and of itself is an analog declaration of intent. Such a writing must be secured from public scrutiny. Otherwise, it might be recognized as a technically formal declaration of domestic war. Furthermore, whenever any person or group or persons in a position of great power and without full knowledge and consent of the public uses such knowledge and methodology for economic conquest, it must be understood that a state of domestic warfare exists between said person and groups of persons and the public. The solution of today's problems requires an approach which is fruitless and candid, with no agonizing overly religious, morally, or cultural values. You have qualified for this project because of your ability to look at human life and society with cold objectivity, and yet analyze and discuss with observations and conclusions with others of similar intellectual capacity without loss of discretion and humility. Such virtues are exercised in your own best interest do not deviate from them. Historical introduction. Silent weapon technology has evolved into operations research and the strategic and tactical methodology developed under military management in England. Pause. During World War II, the original purpose of operations research was to study the strategic and tactical problems of air and land defense with the objective of effective use of limited military resources against foreign enemies, i.e. logistics, Meaning, the American public 
It was soon recognized by those in positions of power the same methods might be useful to, for totally controlling a society, but better tools were necessary. Social engineering, which is what you have today, which is social media. The analysis and automation of a society requires the correlation of great amounts of constantly changing economic information data. So at a high-speed computerized data processing system was necessary, which could race ahead of the society and predict when society would arrive for capitulation. Relay computers were slow, but the electronic computer, invented in 1946 by J. Presper Eckert and John W. Marcy filled the bill. The next breakthrough was the development of the simplex method of linear programming in 1947 by the mathematician George B. Danson. Then in 1948, the transistor, invented by J. Barty and W. H. Breton and W. Shockley, promised great expenses the computer field by reducing space and power requirements. With these inventions, under their direction, those in positions of power strongly suggested that it was power for them to control the whole world with the push of a button. Immediately, the Rockefeller Foundation got on the ground floor by making a four-year grant to the Harvard College, funding the Harvard Economic Research Project for the study of the structure of American economy. One year later, 1949, the United States Air Force joined them. In 1952, the grant period terminated, and a high-level meeting of the elite was to determine the next phase of social operations research. The Harvard Project has been very fruitful. As it is borne out by the publication of some of his results in 1953, suggesting the feasibility of economic and social engineering. Engineered in the last half of the decade 1940s, the new quiet war machine stood, so to speak, in sparkling gold plated hardware on the showroom floor by 1954. With the creation of the Mazer in 1954, the promise of unlocking unlimited sources of fusion atomic energy from the Heavy hydrogen in sea and water and consequent availability of unlimited social power was a possibility only decades away. The combination was irresistible. I pause there. I pause there because, like I said before, the war has begun. And for the simple fact that it matters is that most people don't really get the consensus between what reality is and what something is that these people have planned from decades ago. The people who have even written this manual are no longer alive, but the consensus remains alive today. Biological weapons, you're faced with coronavirus. So if it's a biological weapon with social engineering to make you digitize your own personal information, then obviously what they're doing is true. It's just that you're not aware of the mechanism of what they're using. Stay tuned for part two. And agents, I'm coming for you. <laughs> It is what it is. Stay tuned for part two. The war has begun. The machine is charged. It's over with. Peace. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Be safe.